This is a video response to Mr. Crazy Dudeful and his, one of his latest videos, uh, Most Atheists Hate Freedom of Religion. This is actually my fifth take because of how pissed off I am at this. So I decided to take another route so that I can just tackle the issues as they come out and you can understand why I'm so frustrated and pissed off. So here we go. You know, I've been listening on YouTube to a lot of atheists talking. And it seems a lot of you hate religious freedom. You can't stand it when somebody prays in a public place. You can't stand it that someone might actually choose not to be an atheist. You can't stand it when one, one nation under God is in our pledge, and we say it. You can't stand the fact that in God we trust is on our money. You can't stand the fact that people might actually choose to be religious versus an atheist. All right, I'm going to pause it right there. Religious freedom, you're getting that. You are 100% getting that. And then some. You are hand-jobbed by the government. Big time. Big time. Let's see. Uh, uh, your churches tax-free. How cool is that? One of the most successful businesses in the world is tax-exempt. How many billions upon billions of, of dollars does religion take in a year? And they're not even taxed on it. Major hand job to religion, and you got a bitch. Here we go. On to your... Us being upset that the... Uh, in the Pledge of Allegiance, as well as uh, uh, dirtying our money with In God We Trust and then the One Nation Under God. You do realize, first of all, that it wasn't always so. It wasn't until the 1950s that In God We Trust, as well as One Nation Under God, was actually introduced to the two. And that was a concept brought out by government to see it as a proposal to boost uh, the country's morale. If you ask me, it was wrong then, and it's wrong now. For one thing, it it segregates all other uh, religions as well as lack of a religion. And you know what? If we've got hundreds of thousands of people that are atheists, Muslims, Buddhist, um, Hindu, pick one that is not Christianity, and we've had those people actually die in foreign wars or die on the streets as cops and firemen and and, and what have you. And they can't even, even though they're fighting for this country, and they're not going to be able to be represented, they're never represented as to what their beliefs are. Yeah, we're upset that you're getting a favoritism. This is supposed to be a country that represents all of us, not some. And go ahead and play the argument how, uh, like especially with atheists being in the minority, it doesn't matter that we're in the minority. Because if that's the kind of thing that we'd follow, then what are we going to have another type of an issue with uh, uh, the way it was you know, decades and decades ago? Black people in the back of the buses because they're the minority? Women who can't vote because they're, they're a social minority? Is, is that what you're telling us? Is that what you're telling um, everybody who, who sees your video? That their rights should not be viewed? My attitude is, is either you represent every single religion under the sun, including atheism, the lack of religion on money and uh, um, in the Pledge of Allegiance, or you remove it all completely. I think it'd be easier to just remove it. It's either you represent all or none. Atheists have fought and died for this country too, as well as Muslims, Hindu, every other religion, including Christianity. Anyway, continuing. You can't stand any of that. You damn right. And that really, really ticks. It doesn't me tick me off. off. Oh no, it ticks you off. Separation of church and state means it ticks you off that we can't stand it. The hand job religion gets, and you're ticked off. You better get your priorities and check there, boy. They're not going to force you. The state is not going to force you to partake in a religion. It's not going to make you convert to Christianity. 
government has never done that. Putting in God we trust is not forcing you to become a Christian. Saying under God in the Pledge of Allegiance is not forcing you to be a Christian. You're right. It is not forcing anybody to become a Christian. You are absolutely right. That's one thing in your video that I will agree with you on. But I'm sick and seeing in God we trust. And I shouldn't have to be irritated by it. Take it off on my money when I go to make purchases for stuff. I pay the taxes. I am a taxpayer. I was in the army. Briefly, but I was in the army. You know what? It's not until you, you, have actually fought for something and then be completely uh, shunned aside as if what's your sacrifices that didn't matter. Maybe that's when that's when you have a right to get pissed off. That's when it, until you do, shut. You don't have to participate in it if you don't want to. We should all feel welcome to participate in it without being segregated. If in God we trust bothers you so much on your money, then turn it over. You don't have to look at it. You see, it apparently it bothered Christians so much that it wasn't on there that they bitched and moaned about it till it was. Just hand the money to the guy. If that really bothers you that freaking much, I don't understand why it does. Of course you don't. You've never had to fight for anything. You don't believe in God? Fine. I don't care. If you didn't care about us not believing in God, you wouldn't make these videos that are directed to di directed strictly towards atheists. But leave the rest of us alone who do. Leave the rest of leave the one the ones of us alone who do alone, okay? Leave us alone. No. Absolutely not. Because your religion is having a direct effect on my life. When your religion is on our money, when you, when I'm seeing um, a, a million dollar church just getting erected and they don't have to pay any taxes on it, and I do. People choose to be Christians. And now you're going to say, well, Christians aren't the only group that we make fun of. Well, yes, it is. You're not really threatened by anything else. Not threatened by religion other than the fact that it uh, imposes itself on my daily life. Because you know you can spread really easily, but you can't spread Christianity. No, we cannot di disprove the fact that Christianity exists. We can, however, disprove that its ideas are bogus, that the claims it makes are bogus. We've been doing that for a while. The only reason that they haven't seen it yet, you Christians, you religious folk, is because you you see what you want to see. It's the classic cherry pick. Take out of science what you want, take out of the Bible what you want, and try to uh, milk it in a way to make sense to you. bothers you that this country allows freedom of religion. You would take that out. You had the opportunity. You would. Actually, no, I wouldn't. As pissed off as I am, I would not get rid of uh, religion. Honestly, I don't know what the world would be like without it. It actually challenges people to do some thinking. Um, I myself have never uh, thought so much about science and religion until I got on YouTube. Um, I never felt forced myself to do so much research. I think that religion in its in very crude ways does inspire the imagination with a lot of what if. And imagination is how we actually move on. It, 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 it can be a distraction. It can uh, lead us into new ideas, philosophies, and so on. But to believe it as true 